Good morning everyone. I had to miss yoga today, which I'm a bit good about because I really wanted to make sure I stick with it every single week. I have an appointment at my opticians and you can tell you're getting old when you start getting excited to get new glasses and new contact lenses so you can see better. <laughs> I'm picking up some new contact lenses that they think would be better with my dry eye that I've got now. So I've got like a trial version to try for a month and new glasses with a new prescription because my eyesight gets worse every single time I'm there. Got my new glasses, have to admit, the frame is exactly the same as my old glasses. They're just new, new lenses and I can actually see it's like everything is in HD. It's so much better. I also got a new brand of contact lenses. Did I mention this earlier? I can't remember. Um, so they wanted me to trial a month and then if I like them, they'll switch my um, prescription over to that type of lens. I got there and the woman was like, has someone told you about these lenses yet? And I was like, what do you mean? They're just a different brand, aren't they? And she said, well, basically, they've got a mark on them, like a little mark, and that mark has to go, she said, that mark has to go facing upwards. And I was like, all right, okay. I couldn't see, I had to put them in with like nothing on my eyes. So I couldn't actually see the mark and I was really struggling. And I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be a like proper like, see this every single day, I'm gonna find it really difficult. But I will trial it for the month and see what they're like. Um, and I couldn't see, so she helped them, she looked at it and she was like, right, turn it a little bit. And then she was like, right, now that's facing, that's facing upwards, you can put it in now. So I put them in and straight away they felt really uncomfortable um, and I felt like I couldn't see, like, it's like everything was like blurry and smudge. Like I could read stuff, but it was like, it had, it had a smudge. It was really strange. And she was like, right, if you go in the waiting area and I told her that like, I couldn't see and they were hurting. Um, but she said that the optician will have a look at them when I see him. Went in to see the optician and I told him that they felt really uncomfortable and that I couldn't see. And he said that it might just take a while to settle. Um, and then he started looking in my eye and then he was like, look right, look left, look up, look down, blah, blah, blah. And then every time I moved my eye, it felt like it was peeling off my eye a bit. <laughs> I told him and then he went, yep, um, that's because you've got them in upside down. And I was like, she said to put them in that way. Like she literally looked at them and told me it was the right way when I put them in. He was like, I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, it's, it, it's just, she's made a mistake that she shouldn't, uh, she didn't realize that they were the wrong way or she didn't know something like that. I was like, what the hell? Went to the mirror to take them out to put them in the right way and my eyes were literally bright red. I was like, how could she not see that that was something wrong there? Like, that's not normal for my eyes to be bright red. Eventually I got them in the right way and my vision was so much better and they did feel more comfortable, but it's only day one. So we'll see how it goes. I've been wearing the exact same contact lenses for about 10 years and they were the ones that you just put in your eye and it didn't matter which way they were or anything like that. They kind of like moved around in your eye anyway. But yeah, there's my little dramatic story of the day. I also want to say a great big happy birthday to Holly from this girl called Holly. I will leave a link to her channel down below. Head on over there and say happy birthday. I know by the time this video goes up it has been a week since your birthday but today like for me recording is your birthday so I hope that's all right. <laughs> Now. Oh. <laughs> so now I'm gonna start curing it. The first layer of your base coat cures for 30 seconds. Hi everyone, it's now the afternoon. Please excuse the noise in the background, it's my printer. Just printing out my assignment. I've been to college today, even though it's supposed to be half term, and I completed a gel nail course. It was a bit expensive, but you do get the kit as well, so you get the um, mini lamp and you also get like a little set with the gel polish and like the remover and the like the prep and things like that so that's quite good the course itself was good there was a lot of people from my class on it so it was quite comfortable and it didn't last too long these are so cute today man look at yours <laughs> I actually got given these last night because although it's Valentine's Day today, I'm not actually seeing Eric today and we only saw each other yesterday. But he got me this really, really adorable Pandora ring. It is so cute. It's in my favourite colour, which is purple. And it has these gorgeous, if my camera will focus, please. So all around the side it has love hearts on it and then it's purple stones. On the actual ring and he got it because I've been saying that I really want a ring for this middle finger 
like that I'll just push it down like that and it just looks amazing I really like it and if you want to like turn it round as well like the other way it does have purple on that side so you can wear it both ways it's like a multi ring and I just think it's the cutest ring ever and Eric really likes to put in effort when he does cards and um, it's just one of his little quirks and this is from a book that I used to read to the kids and um, when I worked in the preschool I can't remember the exact name but that's the rabbit from it and he's always dead sweet so yeah although I'm not seeing Eric today we are planning a day out in Durham on Saturday and I will definitely be vlogging that we're just gonna go and do sightseeing and things like that everyone it's Friday I hope you can see me alright it's getting dark I'm currently on my way into the 
Metro Centre because Eric and I are going to go and see Black Panther which I'm quite excited about. The trailer looks amazing so I hope it's good. You take an Instagram photos? No. <laughs> I would never do such a thing. Hi everyone, it's Saturday and Eric and I are currently driving into Durham for the day. I thought I would try and vlog as much as I can because Durham is such a beautiful city and we are doing a bit of sightseeing. I haven't been at Durham for a good few years and I don't know, when was the last time you were there? Uh, six, seven years six, ago maybe. Six years? Maybe six, seven years ago. We are spending the day there because we thought it would be nice to sightsee in local towns and I think you know it's really important to visit places nearby just so you can kind of appreciate you know where you come from and things like that and it's a really nice historic northeast town so why not? and it was so busy there was like an ice was it ice and water ice and fire, ice and fire an ice festival. and fire festival so it was extremely busy everywhere so we are driving back to Newcastle now and then I think we might be going out for a meal later on instead when it's a bit quieter everywhere because it's half term and everything is just completely busy we've decided to have takeaway instead of a meal so we're having a nice great big pizza hut and we're gonna watch some TV shows I'm just covering Eric's email just so I don't expose it to the world Exposed bitch. <laughs> Hello, I've just finished getting ready because I'm going to a blog and event with We Blog North at the Alchemist in town in Eldon Square. And I'm really excited because there's a few blogging girls who I've met before who are going and it'll be nice to see them again. And I'm pretty positive there's quite a lot of new bloggers that I haven't met yet. Um, by new I mean like just people who I don't know yet, not because they are new people. I think there's quite a few bigger bloggers going which will be quite cool to get to know a lot more people in the area that do what I do and yeah I just kind of want to meet people and it's going to be fun. That screen and I was like testing it. 